What's happening? As you see, it's your boy Mike P. Back with a video. I'm just so disgusted right now, bro. Like, super duper disgusted. Seeing this first take low situation happen earlier today. They was talking about T.O. and him being a first ballot Hall of Famer. And how Skip Bayless felt like he shouldn't have been a first ballot Hall of Famer. He shouldn't even be a second ballot Hall of Famer or a third ballot Hall of Famer. You see how white people do, bro? They pick and choose who they want to get behind and who they want to see for who they really are. As far as the numbers. You going to say disregard T.O. numbers? You know you why you saying that? Because T.O. is second to almost Jerry Rice in every wide receiver category known to man. Yards, touchdowns, receptions. They want to try to diminish T.O. because he didn't have a good relationship with T.O. Then you want to talk about the days for the 49ers and how he ruined the team. Let me say this and say this right. The 49ers weren't shit until they drafted T.O. If you remember correctly, Jerry Rice is on his way out the door. They only had J.J. Stokes, and they just drafted Arnest Battle. Didn't have a defense. Steve Young was retired. They had a mediocre Jeff Garcia, who has never done anything in the NFL, would be a fucking backup. T.O. revived this man's career. He was a West Coast quarterback who threw short and eating media routes. T.O. basically would get up and the man throwing the football and T.O. caught that shit. In the biggest games, T.O. always stepped up. Don't forget about the NFC Championship game he played against the Packers. He had 22 receptions, 200 some yards. I watched this shit with my nigga Duke. Watched this shit together. So, fuck the bullshit you talking about, Skip. The nigga T.O., he, even after that season with the 49ers, he got him to the playoffs again. Jeff Garcia ain't did shit. He left there and went to Cleveland, got a big ass deal, ain't did shit. He went to Philly, he ain't do shit. <laughs> So cut that argument, nigga. Next, you talk about um, motherfucking uh, T.O. going to, to Philly. Now, Valley Philly had been to five NFC Championship games. They never had a receiver, ever. So when you get T.O., T.O. put you over the top to put you into the championship round. Everybody know McNabb choked in the, in the fucking playoffs. In the Super Bowl, McNabb choked, bro. The man threw up in the huddle. The reason why Philly never made it over the hunt was because of McNabb, bro. Any Philly fan will tell you that. Their defense was nasty with B. Dawkins, Jeremiah Trotter. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't get the correlation you putting T.O. in the same category and saying he obliterated the team. That man wanted to get paid in the offseason, bro. That man agent is Drew Rosenhaus. He makes big deals. If he comes in, bro, this nigga, I remember this shit like it was yesterday. I'm a cowboy fan, nigga. These niggas played against us. T.O. roasted us for like three. The first game we played this nigga, bro, it was it was in Philly. He killed us for three touchdowns and 150 yards, bro, in the second quarter. He was killing us. So at the end of the day, I seen this shit firsthand. For you to even for you to even talk crazy about T.O. and say that he the single reason why the, the Philly was the, as, as good as they were. Nigga, they were the most feared team in the NFL. When T.O. got on Philly, bro, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Nobody wanted to see me nab in Philly because he had T.O. now. You had a good defense. You had Brian Mitchell. You had Freddie Mitchell, Pinkston. All them niggas was ass, bro. You put T.O. on the team, elevated them niggas to another level, took them to the fucking Super Bowl. Nigga got hurt against the Cowboys in the second game. Roy Williams dragged him down. That's, that's how you got the horse collar rule because Roy Williams dragged this man down and hurt his knee. Along with his kneecap and his leg. Roy was hurting everybody that season doing that wild shit. Shout out to that nigga. That nigga a warrior. Nigga came back in the Super Bowl, bro. Had nine receptions for 170 yards. He didn't score. But I mean, it was the Patriots, bro. The Patriots been cheating since day, since day one. He still was killing them niggas, bro. So you got to look at the facts, man. Don't let these motherfuckers sway you the wrong way about motherfuckers when you get on a nigga team. Now, we're going to talk about when he got to the Cowboys. Okay. Got to the Cowboys. We didn't have a receiver either, bro. We had fucking, we had uh, Terry Glenn. We had motherfucking, uh, we had just traded for Roy Williams trash ass from uh, the Lions. He was sorry. You had motherfucking, um, who else we had, bro? Shit. We had a bunch of motherfuckers who weren't doing shit, basically. 
That's the reason why Jerry Jones said, fuck that shit. Philly, you not going to pay T.O.? We going to pay T.O. So we gave T.O. a whole lot of upfront money. He didn't really have a lot of money on the back end. T.O. first year, he lead the NFL 13 receptions for, uh, for that season as a top wide receiver. The only complaint that T.O. ever had was, was the fact that Romo got the ball to win too much, which was fucking true. Who the fuck don't know that as a Cowboy fan? Everything that T.O. said, bro, was fucking true. McNabb was a choker. This nigga, he, he finished his career where? In Minnesota with the Redskins? He didn't do shit. Jeff Garcia wasn't shit. My thing is, he said Romo got the ball to win too much. It's a fucking truth. I don't, I don't understand how can you diminish this man and say he shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame when the nigga just told the truth every way he went. He won no fucking yes man. And that's what these motherfuckers want you to be these days, a fucking yes man. They want you to, oh, you know, come in and, and follow the program and do as we do. And them motherfuckers looking out for themselves, bro. You won a championship, man. What the fuck happened to every team that they win a championship? Niggas just start getting plucked everywhere. Because niggas ain't going to want to pay you that money. So your job is why you in the NFL and why you got that leverage to get paid, nigga. Max out. Get as much money as you can. Because a motherfucker trying to, they, they billion, like these owners and shit, they own these teams. That's not the only hustle they got. That's not the only thing they into. You think that's the only, that's the only place they got, they got money coming in from? Nigga, I've been around billionaires and millionaires, nigga. They, that's one investment they done made is the NFL. The NFL don't mean shit to them. It's motherfuckers who ain't never played a, a fucking down of football who own teams. They care about that fucking money, nigga. This, I, I was so this was just so fucking mad at Skip. Like, how do you? How are you an NFL analyst and you talk and you're making a biased point like that? I can see you saying you don't like To. You think To is washed up. He needs to retire. That's fine. But when you talk about this man in the category of saying that this man don't need to be in no in the Hall of Fame, bro, are you kidding me, bro? Look at this nigga numbers, the impact this nigga done made. You quick to say Marvin Harrison because he shut his mouth and did what he did, but Marvin Harrison don't got no fucking rings either. But one, he got that on the way out. I don't even think he got a fucking ring. I think Reggie Wayne got that ring, nigga. Check, I had to check that shit, bro. I don't even think Marvin Harrison got a fucking ring. I think he retired without getting one. If he did, that's what he played against Chicago. He ain't really do shit. You boost that nigga up, though. But... This nigga Moss, I mean, this nigga uh, T.O. numbers way better than that nigga. You got Jerry Rice, you got T.O., and you got Moss on mostly every category. The next nigga he gonna say don't need to be, don't need to be there is Randy Moss. All I'm gonna say is, man, watch out, motherfuckers, these opinions these niggas got out here, man. Cause they ain't spitting no facts. They spitting all feelings. And feelings is some bullshit. No man should talk bad about another man just because you don't fuck with him. Just say you don't fuck with him and that's just it. You try to diminish what he did in the NFL, man. That man single-handedly improved wide receivers, dog. So I just had to say that thing was in my heart, bro. I couldn't let a day go by letting somebody say that about T.O., bro. And T.O. the same nigga that stepped on the star, but I fuck with his competitiveness. He gonna say, I'm the man. Feel me? Before he became a star, when he got with the America's team. So you know, I just feel like, man, we could have won a ring with T.O. We could have. We never had, we never, we ran out of money, I feel like. I feel like Jerry Jones put us in the hole with all these bad investments with players and shit. 